the Lord says, who told you that you weren't good enough? Who told you that you couldn't enter in? Who told you that you didn't have what it takes? Who told you that God is not choosing you? That he's choosing everybody else, but he's not choosing you. The Spirit of the Lord says tonight, I choose you. I'm choosing you. I'm choosing you tonight. You can step in. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what level of gifting you think you have. And what makes you different than the prophet Jeremiah? What makes you different than Caleb? What makes you different than them? Nothing. You're human. You're just a person just like they were. And you know what? A heaven is saying, I want to partner with you. I want to partner with you. You are my agents in the earth. He says, I don't have another plan. He says, you are my plan. He says, be filled with the Spirit. You are my plan to reach this yes. earth for Jesus. Yes. You are my plan. You're not second best. You're not a single person. There's no second line. We're all frontline warriors. Do you understand that? Yes. And the Lord says, I choose you. He yes. says, I don't have another plan. I don't have a backup plan. Master Paul, you are his plan. Jane, you're his plan. Sabrina, you're his plan. Daddy, you're his plan. Becky, you're his plan. Every person in this room, you are his plan. And don't think that you're not good enough. Don't think you don't have what it takes because you know what? He died on the cross. Pay a price. And he doesn't buy junk. He doesn't buy things that are broken. And he says, in me, you are whole and complete. Yes. And you have everything that you need. Don't think that you can't do it. Because, first of all, do you understand that when Mary said yes to, the, to be the birth to Jesus, that's all she did. She said yes. We're saying yes. And we don't know what God's going to do, but I want you to know that her yes changed everything forever for all of us. And who was she? She was just this young girl. How do you know what your yes will mean for the generations to come? Your yes is going to change your family. It's going to change you forever and change your family. And, you, and your yes affects your children, it affects your grandchildren, it affects everything about you. It's not just about you. It's about eternity. Yes. It's about eternity. It's, it, we're partnering. It's like this. I saw like the, like the, the hand of eternity coming and just doing this with us. Can you see that? This. And we're, when we're singing about the throne room of heaven, we're singing, you are worthy of it all. And, and, and I see angels. And I see that the realms of heaven, the glory, coming and doing this with us right now. And, and you... You've got what it takes. If it can happen to Jeremiah, it can happen to you. Right? If it can happen to John, it can happen to you. If it can happen to Moses, it can happen to him. But just that we're going to go to the promised land, right? Yeah, just a small side <laughs> But you know, I always have to interject some humor. But you know what? I'm just saying that, that there's things we have to say yes. We have to say yes. And don't when we walk out of this place, you have an assignment, and that is to partner with the eternal plan of God, and to the same level that, like I said, Jeremiah, all these, all these people that we honor, we read in the Word of God, you're not different. You are not different than them. You are not different. You are not exempt. You are not less than. You are and just as important to the eternal plan of God as every person in this every person that you read about here, when you read about the, the, the great chapter of the faith chapter where it talks about all the books of the Jesus and Romans. <laughs> that's, that's you. Put your name in there. It's you. And you know what? Don't worry. Don't worry about um, some of you say, well, it didn't happen. It, this it didn't happen in the time that I thought it was going to happen. These great men and women of faith in Hebrews 11, they died still believing we have to live as if we're going to see it tomorrow and be as committed as if we're never going to see it in our lifetime. You understand? Because it's an eternal plan. We have to pass it on. We have to, we have to pass it on. We can't give mantles to people. We've had this conversation today about giving mantles to people. You can believe what you want, but God's got a mantle for you. He's got your mantle. You know, you can, you can be, get an impartation, but I'm telling you, we've got 
to run, guys. We have to. And I'm just burning inside. And I'm like, it's like I got a fire in my bones and I can't keep silent. And, and that's what's coming on all of us because you're not different than me. I'm not different than you. We're not, we're not different. Well, we might be different than Joanne. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm losing my voice. But, uh, 